Good morning, grade two. Now we'll have our music and arts. Music and arts. For our music, we're going to learn about instruments. Okay, the first one is string instrument. String instruments have strings there where the player uses a bow to produce sound. Sometimes the strings are plucked to produce sound like the guitar, piano, and harp. Banjo. This one is behind banjo. Okay, banjo and harp. So we have here, this one is a guitar, banjo, and harp. Take a look at the picture because later in our activity, you are going to name some instruments. Again, this one is guitar, banjo, harp. Can you please say it? Ready and go. Very good. So these are string instruments. Next, we have brass wind instruments. Again, brass wind instruments are wind instruments that have a cup-shaped mouthpiece. The player blows air into the mouthpiece to produce sound. So look that, look, this is the cup-shaped mouthpiece. This one is for the trombone. This is one is for the trumpet. And this one is for the tuba. And this one is for the French horn. So the, these wind instruments have a cup-shaped mouthpiece. So re, remember, this one is trombone, trumpet, tuba, French horn. Can you please say it, the word, the name of each brass wind instruments? Ready? Go. Okay, very good. Again, trombone, trumpet, tuba, French horn. Take a look at the picture of this brown brass wind instrument. Okay, the differences, trombone, okay, the trumpet, one, two, three, the tuba here, and then the French horn. Now we'll have woodwind instruments. Again, woodwind instruments. So the woodwind instruments are wind instruments also, but the player blows their air across a hole on the side. So where's the hole? Here, here for this one, this one. Oh, I cannot see for the oboe. Okay, this one is a clarinet. Bassoon, flute, oboe. Take a look at the picture of this in woodwind instruments. Okay, remember yung bassoon merong parang tail. The oboe, it's like a needle, pointing needle here. Yung flute and then the clarinet. Okay po, please say the name of each woodwind instrument. Ready, go, please say it. Very good. Go. Mm hmm. Okay, for the last one, we have percussion instruments. Percussion instruments are musical instruments that produce a sound by beating, hitting, or striking. Others, like maracas and tambourine, produce sounds by shaking them. So the, here are the percussion instruments. We have bells, triangle, castanets, sticks. Maracas, drum, cymbals, tambourine, xylophone, and gong. Okay, Pa? Now please write, oh, please write, please say the name of each percussion instrument. Ready? What's this? Very good. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. How about this? This one. Oh, this. And this. Very good. Okay, now let's review the string instruments. Guitar, follow after me. Guitar, banjo, harp, brass wind instruments, trombone, trumpet, tuba, French horn, woodwind instruments, clarinet, bassoon, oboe, flute, percussion instruments, bells, castanets, triangle, sticks, maracas, drum, cymbals, tambourine, xylophone, and gong. Okay, for your 
Bookwork, open your map on page 92. Page 92. Okay, write the name of each instrument. Okay, this one, number one, number two, <coughs> number three, four, five. Okay, you might tail, done. Six, seven, eight, nine. This one, 10, 11. This one is why you might point dito, 12. Okay po? So now let's proceed with our arts. So for our arts, it is the printmaking using stencil. We made this one when you are in grade one. Remember the, what's this? Mm, yeah, the, the Christmas tree. Okay, we used it. We used stencil prints in our Christmas tree art, Christmas art um, card. Okay, stencil prints are made by cutting the desired shape of a design on a sheet of paper or a piece of cardboard. The cut out design is placed over a sheet of paper or other materials. You can use paint or ink, is and then brush over the stencil so for example this is your design and then place it on the paper and then paint that one and when you remove your uh your design this is the output okay pa? so the stencil prints design can be used repeatedly or alternately on different objects or materials you can create design with different Pattern. So it, you can make your own pattern. Stencil print design. So the designs are repeat a shape all over the surface. If it's same, same, same a shape. Or you can alternate two or more shapes. Or you can repeat or alternate color. So it's up to you what, what design you like to do. And then for the stencil print, it's up to you also. In our book, um, it's a smiley face, okay? You're gonna make a smiley sprint and then, oh wait, let me take a look at page. Wait lang ha. Okay, there, for our, in our book. As you can see, you can make a smiley face and then print nyo po. Okay, how to do it? You're gonna cut the design placed over the paper or other materials, then paint or ink, then brush over the stencil like this one. Okay, but if you have other, you can use your, if your ruler has designs, di ba may mga design yung ruler nyo? Yung mga big rulers, numbers, letters, you can use that one. Okay, for your artwork. So we study for our quiz tomorrow. Take a picture of page 92 and 93 and send it in our class dojo. Also your stencil print artwork. Thank you everyone and see you tomorrow. Bye!